Okay, so um, sometimes you may come across this problem where when you go create ringtone, it says iTunes could not connect to the iTunes store when obviously you are connected. And there might also be this problem on here where you go create ringtone and it says it cannot be created because you can create iPhone ringtones only from songs purchased from the iTunes store. Um, so yeah, so, so the first thing we want to do is we want to right click on the song and um, go to the options tab. Then in the options tab we want to tick the start time box and the stop time box. Uh, the sort of catch with the ringtones though is that they can only go for a maximum of 30 seconds so that so you want to make sure that the start time and stop time are within 30 seconds or less apart from each other so um, I'll just do the first 30 seconds of the song uh, and remember when you're doing it to have the colon in the middle there so once you've done that, go OK. Then you'll want to right click on it again. There will be um, create AAC, AAC version or there might be convert all selected to AAC version. You just want to create a copy of the song in AAC version. So anything that says like create or convert to an AAC version, just click on that. And it'll say converting up the top here, and you'll see in the converting thing here. So it'll be the same as sort of like burning one from a CD to your, or copying one from a CD to your iTunes library. So um, you'll see here, time's incomplete because it's still converting, but it's sort of whited out. So um, yeah, you just have to wait till it's finished. Alright, so that's finished now. Um, so you can see here it says time 30 seconds, 0 colon 30. You want it to be 0 colon 30 or 0 colon and something less than 30. So once you've done that, you want to get the AAC version, which is the one we just created, and drag it to your desktop and you'll get it here. Once you've um, dragged it to your desktop, you want to delete the one in here. So go to del delete and you want to click remove, but you want to keep the file. You don't want to move it to the recycle bin. So click um, keep file. You can minimize that. Now when we look in the properties, the uh, file extension is .m4a the file extension for ringtones is .m4r. Um, defaultly, Windows doesn't allow us to change the file extension. So, um, if you're using Windows Vista or Seven, like I am, you just want to head to Control Panel and then Appearance and Personalization, and then to Folder Options. And then you want to go to the view tab at the top here and you want to go through until you find hide extensions for known file types. You want to untick that and click apply and then OK. So click out of that now. And now you'll see we've got the name and .m4a. So right click on that and on the end of the file name now we've got the file extension. So we want to change the last, the A, to an R and go OK. Now um, it'll say if you change a file name extension the file might become unusable. Are you sure you want to change it? Go yes. 
and then in now it's finished you want to open it in itunes so you double click that and you'll see here in the ringtones tab it's got paralyzer song it's playing 30 seconds and it's in there so um yeah once that's in there, you wanna um you want to connect your iPhone to your uh PC and then when it's connected in the um under devices you'll wanna select it and then you wanna check for that for the ringtones tab. So um yeah that's uh the tutorial on how to get um, songs in your iTunes library into ringtones for iPhone. Um, I, I'm not sure whether uh, the ringtones will work on iPod Touch. They probably will. Um, and doing the uh, ringtones this way is kind of cool because if you want to download them uh, through Apple, you have to pay something like two bucks. So, um, yeah, if you've got any questions, just contact me on my website. Okay, thanks for watching.